Hey guys, it's Neil Ellis here from Tykes TV. Uh, hope you're all well. Uh, we've just been a bit of thing what's been going off for the last couple of days, to be fair, regarding Bard, uh, Conway, you know, crimes, council and stuff like that in general. Uh, a lot of things seem to be gathering pace on social media. Um, just wanted to give my thought and tech on it kind of stuff. I know there's been a bit of stuff. Uh, if you look at his past videos the last couple of weeks, last couple of months, we've been calling it a bit. Uh, what's been happening? Uh, what, what you know, foresee kind of thing, what's going to be happening uh, as regards to other clubs as well, what they own. Uh, a couple of bits of transfer news as well today, a couple of other links as well. Uh, but uh, my tech on the yeah, situation, current situation at uh, Barnsley Football Club. I think as you're all aware, you all know that uh, certain social media, there's a uh, group gathering pace, over a thousand members like now as I speak, uh, on about Conway out. Um, but when, you know, it can go a bit deep into detail, it could be also looking at rest at board as well. Uh, what's happening? Communication is a big, big thing in this. It all seems to be about uh, since the West End fiasco. Seems to be communication, even with the official media outlets, it's been quiet or non-existent. I know there's certain people in media from papers and might be trying to get in contact with the uh, CEO of Barnsley and it's like very, very quiet at the minute. I've said all along that, you know, we've not, never been invited to a forum and out like that. Fair enough, I've only took, you know, me and Luke have uh, taken over the channel. But it'd be nice to get some kind of insight uh, just to let for ease, ease the fans' worries. Um, and it's it, it's getting to a situation like now where it's, it's getting bleak, you know, um, things going off, people, fans getting more disgruntled and bewildered as every day, every week, what goes past, to be fair. Uh, could it be handled better? It's just communication or lack of communication. It's like the silence is deafening. You know what I mean? There's there's no what's really happening. We're getting tell things to, you know, please things. No, no what's coming out. And you look at other clubs, what they own, and all people say other clubs is not, not our concern, but when you look into more detail and more depth of the clubs that they own, the same predicament, the same situations that they're in struggling-wise and the recruitment side, and that I keep going back. It's what, uh, what Luke said as well, is that recruitment's not been good enough for the recruitment in all areas. Backroom staff, what's gone? Unbelievable. And it's like things off the pitch, and it's, you know, it's coming onto the pitch. There's some good people. I know some good people that work at the club. Uh, some very good people that work at the club. I've known them years, going back years, you know, from shop, marketing and all things like that. I've not specific naming certain areas or people because it's unfair to do that. But there is some good people there that actually, you know, put some hours in and keep that club ticking over for us as fans. This is the higher up above. Uh, people from Barnsley, the, you know, what watch this Barnsley board members don't like that, uh, or relate back to them. Like I said, it's just a, it's just a communication, a PR. Uh, what, what's missing? What's missing? And we'll just call it as it is. You know, we're not, to, you know, it probably sounds negative, and it's the same situation. You've got to understand that our fans feel as well. There's no like link there. There's no, you know, I understand it's a business and that, not a problem. But at the same respect, we as customers are coming in and, you know, spending his hard earned money to come and watch, to travel away, to buy merchandise. Yeah, simple things like that, centenary societies, you know, all things that we're putting into the club. And to get no communication out, you know, it's and this is the, this is the worrying thing. What what what's coming across to fans? So I'm just talking. If it, you know, if anybody from Barnsley, you know, Football Association, you know, in club itself, 
this is just like a, a plea from me and there'll be thousands more, there'll be hundreds, you know, hundreds more, thousands more as we speak, all in the same position, wanting just clarification of certain things. I know it can't go into detail or everything. I know that, I know the situation about business and stuff. But in the same respect, got to be communicating with fans. The fans are getting unrest. The fans are unhappy. We can see, you know, every every game, everything what's happening all the time. It's it's confusing, frustrating. You know, you, you you're watching your club. I'm you know I'm watching my club. Every you know all fans here club. We're watching club, and it's suffering, and it's suffering, and it hurts to see. It hurts to see, and people say, yeah, it, you know, it will like this under crimes and stuff like. That. This is not, you know, this but this has got to alter. This is the standards. Our, our standards have got to alter. Ours as a club has got to alter. It can't be just going on by mediocre, mediocrity. Yeah, we understand that we, you know, financial fair play and going out spending millions and millions of pounds on players and this other. But what we do want as a club is commitment and effort, talking, communication. We are as bounds of people, as a, a community. We're always outspoken. Uh, we say it as it is. Yeah. And we just want the same back. But we, we just, we're just not getting out like that. But that's the frustrating thing about it. And, you you know, when we're asking questions, we don't want politician answers if we get answers at all. I'd rather be told the truth and it might hurt than to be told a lie and then further on down the chain, get find out that there's something else happened. Just be honest. Just be honest. You know, we I'm I'm not reading too much into this because we're only like a week in about transfers and stuff like that and people going, people coming in, or potential people coming in or going out. I, you know, there's still there's still weeks ago. But it's like when you when you're seeing stuff on social media and people are talking. It's not people just like say oh, social media. So but when people are talking in town, in clubs, in pubs. In ground when we go, when, you know, when we've been at ground, oh, we're going to have to be selling X, Y, Z player before we can even get fetch anybody in. You know what I mean? It's simple things like that. And I know you can't go into finances. I'm not expecting you to come out with your spreadsheet to finances and, you know, say, oh, we're all doing it. I'm not expecting that. But when things like this is happening and unrest is happening between fans or amongst fans, because we're going to get some people what's going to be what can I say? They're not going to be wanting to come out and say what they really feel in case they're going to feel they're going to get picked on or going to get uh, rubbished on kind of thing. Yeah. So I've, I've, had, I've had fans message me, text me. I've had fans, oh, can you say this on your channel? Can you say that on your channel? Because, you know, I agree with what you said, but if, if I do comment on it, then people might turn it around on me and, well, I'm not into trolling. I'm not into that. We've all got his own opinions and people agree, disagree. But in the same respect, it's got to be respected. It's got to be respected. And that's what us as fans are wanting to do. I are hoping uh, to get Luke uh, on today. Uh, but he's, obviously we're working with some of that. So we're going to probably end up going to be doing a live sometime soon. Uh, and because we just want his own... Uh, 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 opinions and thoughts. I know it's all been brushed on about way, you know, recruitment side and the going over, you know, old stuff and that. But you got to, you got to go back. It's not this. This hasn't just, this hasn't just happened this year. This hasn't just happened this year. It's been, it's gone on for years and years. But the, the thing is, like now, when's it going to change? When's it going to alter? When are we going to get communication? When are, when are we going to have a purpose? Or are we just settling for mediocrity and just go, go down the leagues and be happy at that and just tick over and just sell a player here and there, just to make a bit of money here and there? What is, what is our ambition? What is us as a standard? Yeah? We've, what is us as a, a blueprint to our plan, our future going forward? Since all we've gone down into, like, uh, well, pretty poor season, you know, shocking season, to be fair, it, the the communication, the, the things coming out of the club is is gone, quiet, hush. I just I just don't get it. And 
like I say, I'm, people might, I don't know, agree, disagree with what I'm going to say, but I'd happily talk with someone from club, whether it be a one-on-one or a Zoom or whatever. Um, but it's just answers. And, you know, I know there's other uh, forums and uh, other outlets out, uh, out there, but just give something back to fans. Ease our worries. But at minute, his worries are just getting added on, added on, and added on. And every week what goes by, uh, goes by, what bitter hope we're having, it's, it's slowly, slowly dwindling. And then people are having enough. And like I said, there's, there's other things out there where uh, there's unrest on, on uh, between fans and it's not good. It's 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 bad. It's 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 a bad environment. We should all be as one, but it doesn't seem like that. It seems to be alienated. It seems to be the club doesn't seem to me to belong to us as fans. We have we have a we have a blood. I've been going donkeys years, season ticket holder donkeys years. I remember him stood in old brewery stand back in eighties. A man gave him a season ticket. And then checking it on from there. I, I remember all them. I, I remember three hard times. I remember the ups and downs and just managing to get by by a, you know, a Nandy Rammel or a Savile against someone like that on cheap and, and we'd just get by. But then start slowly going. And then the administration side of it, they're collecting, fundraising, trying to save our club. Save our club. Hard to see, knowing that we're on brink of, well, going. On brink of going. Horrible, horrible, horrible times, dark times, worrying times. I felt sick, physically sick when I heard it. I can, something like this happened to my club, our club. Things have got to alter and you have glimmers of hope. You know, we, we, you know, we, we, you know, in one hand we have the Premier League, and years later we, we could have gone out of business. And I appreciate what other people have done behind the scenes, like you know, such as Patrick Crines, God rest him when he came in. You know, he saved us. I mean, since to move on, we just got by. But then, since then, probably his expectations were probably over exceeded, knowing that. Uh, current regime are coming in we all the when you read it when you look into it billionaire owners and financial the clout and that and I get that we're not going to be spending 10, 15, 20 million pounds on a player but if you ask any Barnsley fan what they are wanting is investment and they put up with selling a player for rate right price yeah not just getting by all the time and getting by all the time is no good. But we we as our standards. I'm probably half on a bit but a bit too too much like now, but that's how I feel. That's how I feel. And I had to get somewhere because it's 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 been on my mind for some time. And I, I'm just hoping it's gonna change and change quick, change soon. Um like I said, did a, a live over overnight. Get some Q and A's going and that uh, between uh, your fans and that. So please, like you, you know, leave your likes and your comments and everything like that below. People probably disagree and agree with me, but I'll just ask, you know, just be respectful, um, because it's an outlet. I'm, 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 I'm reaching out to your as fans. Uh, please spread the word. You know, I'm wanting, wanting people to get involved and, you know, spread it see what's happening get in contact with me you know you know where I am um, I'm a bouncer lad like we all are and you, you're all probably feeling the same you know probably some probably you know probably even more than me you know always being you know for your own own reasons and, and things like that um, some people might you know slightly agree slightly disagree it's all about opinions, isn't it? All about opinions. So yeah, that's that was just my bit of tech on it. Um, sorry about being negative, but I just had to get some on there because 
it has been bugging me and I've been wanting to do something for a bit. Um, so like I said, I'll be all I can get get Luke on when, when he's available and that, uh, you know, with work shifts and stuff. Um, so, yeah, just going back to a couple of uh, rumours, really. Uh, Tommy Doyle was on loan at Amberg from Manchester City. Uh, I think Manchester City are about recalling him back. Uh, apparently, there's us, Blackburn and Swansea, who have been linked with him. <clears throat> Possible loan for the second part of the season. Was currently at Hamburg uh, midfielder, so you know, is it? Could it be? You know, uh, could it be a, a solution for us? Could it be a bit of help for us? Because God knows we need it. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, a midfielder, Tommy Tommy Doyle, who's like I say, has been is on loan from Manchester City, and he's got a potential to be game recall back. And we're between us, well, between us, but. We're amongst the other Blackburn and Swansea. We'll be looking at, you know, possible uh, deal with that. The other one is uh, Freddie Ladapo from Rotherham United. He's put a transfer request in. A couple of teams after him. Um, we have one at, I think, Peterborough has been looking out for him kind of thing. 28-year-old striker from Rotherham. I mean, Rotherham are going pretty well up in League One. We all know that. Uh, again, I don't need your, me to tell you all kind of things, obvious, but we've been struggling for goals. Could it be a solution to come in, Fred and Ladapo? Who knows? Um, like I say, these are just all rumours what have been happening in different parts, social media and stuff like that. Um, so obviously we're going to get linked with players all over because predicament that we're in. But... You know, we're only this week into the season, aren't we? So we're going to... No doubt this time next week we'll probably be at another five, seven players that would be rumoured to be interested in. You're going to get your old um, rumours coming up surfacing about, about our players, you know, same old, same old Elix and your Collins and your Styles and your Woodrows. You're going to get all that. It's part and parcel of what gets fans talking, it what sells papers, you know, media and reactions and stuff. So there's going to be a lot more of that. Uh, so, yeah, it... The main point was, sorry for just going and covering that, but the main point was uh, just my thoughts on uh, the board situation, the lack of communication situation between club and fans. Like I said, please put your comments down and everything like that. And uh, I will read them. I do read them. I do reply to as many as I can. Just keep it respectful. Uh, appreciate you all for you know, taking your time out, you, you do, and you always take your time out to either join in, comment, or, you know, watch this YouTube video, hit the likes. Uh, so just to thank you from me, uh, to all your fans out there for uh, contributing and keeping this channel going. Uh, one thing left to say, you Reds. <laughs>